Have you ever wanted to be a villain? <laughs> Hello, lovelies. I'm Ray, and welcome back to Fan Fiction Monday. Right, so confession time. I love My Hero Academia, and more importantly, I love Deku. Deku is my precious child that I want to protect. That being said, I also really like the villain Deku AU. I don't know why, just something about it is very intriguing to me. And uh, I've been reading a lot of uh, villain Deku AUs lately. Uh, I don't know why. I just kind of have. And um, while reading X reader ones aren't normally what I read, I, uh, I, I kind of stumble upon this one. And uh, you know, it 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 didn't disappoint me. This 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 is the shit that makes Fan Fiction Mondays so special. So makes me want to fucking die on a daily basis. And uh, thought I would share that with you today. Because uh, this is going to be Villain Deku X Reader. That's all it's called. Uh, it is a beautiful story that makes no sense to me whatsoever. Just, 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 just hang with me. Just hang with me. All right, you'll you'll understand in a moment on why nothing makes sense. Why I want to kill myself. Why I actually could probably already see why I want to kill myself with this one. <laughs> uh, but. Regardless, 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 I'm going way off topic. I'm just gonna get into this. Uh, you'll find out why I love this fanfiction so much. Uh, so, um, let's go. Prologue. Quick thing right now, um, when people are talking, I'm more gonna do their... I'm gonna probably say who's speaking first, do the voice, and then from there on, I'm just gonna go by the voice. I'm not gonna go by... I'm not gonna say, six-year-old Bakugo, his line. You, his line. I'm not gonna keep doing that shit. I'm just gonna say the voice once, or say the line once, do the voice, Go from there, so, uh, hope my voices are okay. Six year old Bakugo. Stupid quirkless Deku. You. Bakugo, please stop. Six year old Deku. It's fine, Dickbag McGee. Please don't get involved. But. Suddenly, out of an alleyway, a man emerges, staring the three of you. He walks over. Question mark, question mark, question mark. You coulda, shoulda be our here this late. This might be. He laughs. Villains lurking around. I miss this so much. Uh, villains? But the heroes will come, won't they? Huh, heroes. If you can even call them that. Kids, I can show you the truth of who heroes really are. He pulls out a knife. Now come with me. Six-year-old Deku steps forward to join. Same. Why? Why? Question marks. Why? Why? Mizuku, no. Kat Chan's right. Maybe if I go with him, I can be better. He joins. More question marks. <laughs> Newspaper. Six-year-old Izuku Maruria is believed to be dead after missing for two months now. A warning to all parents. With villains the rise, it, it is more than necessary to keep your children safe. End of prologue. Yeah, uh, you, you see, you see where I'm coming from now. This physically hurts me on so many levels. I hope this is a joke fanfiction, but if it is not, Arthur Chan, I, 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 I don't know what to say to you other than why, how, what? I don't. How? I hope this is a joke. It's like it's like they wanted me to find this. But, like, they also don't know how fanfiction monies work. So, uh, we're just gonna continue on, and you're gonna just ever so slowly descend into madness with me. It'll be great, it'll be great, it'll be a great time. Chapter 1. That's over 10 years, you're 16 years old and attend UA High. Your dream is to become a hero and eventually discover the truth of what happened to Izuku. You are in class 1A. You're walking home from your day at school with a friend. You've only known him for a few days, but it feels like forever. He told him the truth about Izuku, and he totally understands, and is nice about it. His name? Kirishima. Kirishima. Hey, do you know what's wrong with Bakugo today? He looks like he wanted to kill everyone. He's always like that, but it's understandable he's tense today. Why? I'd rather not explain. Okay, that's fine. Checks his watch. Is that the time? Sorry, I have to go. Bye. He runs off. Bye. And you're walking home, trying not to think about what keeps banging in your head. Suddenly, you hear a scream from a nearby alleyway. It sounds like it came from a young girl. You can't just ignore it, so you run over and witness the scene. A little girl lying unconscious on the ground and a boy in a hoodie with an oversized hood. He glances up and grins. Everything goes black. What? 
What? Everything goes black. Why? Nothing happens. It's just, hey, what's up? Boom! Out of it. Oh, God. And these traps are so short. It's like, I just want to get into the good stuff. I just want to get into the good stuff. So, next chapter. Chapter 2. You awaken in a dark room. You try to scream, but there's a bandana over your mouth. You try to escape, but you're tied to a chair. A man enters the room, staring at you as he licks his lips. No. No. Nope, 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 nope. I don't want this. I don't know who this guy is, so, uh, I'm sorry for whichever character this is gonna turn out to be. But hello there, gorgeous. You're overwhelmed with panic as he reaches an arm out to touch your face, but his hand is slapped away by a young man with dark green hair. Hands off. This one's mine. Okay, okay, I'll leave you then, Deku. Number one walks off. Deku, you think? But that's what Bakugo is called, Izuku. Deku. Hello, Dickbag McGee. He rips away the bandana. H how do you know my name? He laughs. <laughs> oh, so you don't remember me. What? Remember who? Don't worry. Why would you want to remember weak, pathetic, quirkless Deku? Izuku, is that you? He leans down and whispers in your ear. Stranger danger. Do not touch. Well, no, no, not stranger danger, but do not touch regardless. Please no. Yes. God, I'm gonna be editing this later, and I'm gonna hear that. I'm gonna be like, why me? Why? I'm sorry, future me. I'm not really sorry. Fuck you, future me. What do you want from me? Well, you're a year a student, so Shigaraki wants you for information. And I want you for pleasure. <sighs> End of chapter three. Ugh, God, I hate, I hate that. I hate that. I hate that so much. Nope, mm-mm. Chapter three. Newspaper. UA student, Dickbag McGee last name, has been missing for three days. Their whereabouts are unknown. A search party will be sent out today. If you know anything, please alert the police immediately. You don't know how long you've been with the villains. You just want to get out. You want to go home. You want to be free. Deku insists on keeping you away from the other villains. Shigaraki soon realizes you're not useful for information, but Deku talked to him into keeping you for your quirk. I still don't know what it is. Hey. But one afternoon, everything changes after a blonde-haired girl found you. And then... He was interrupted by the door opening. Question mark, question mark, question mark, number three. Deku! Oh! Deku, who's this? Toga, get out. But Deku, I want to meet your friend. I said no, Toga. He pulls out a knife and escorts her out. But later that day when Deku's not around, she comes back in. I don't know what my Deku's doing with you, but I promise you, he's mine. I don't understand. I'll make a deal with you. You can now, and then give me your blood, and I won't kill you, okay? Dot, dot, dot. Yeah, same reaction. What the fuck? What, is, what does that mean? What does that mean? You can now. Author Chan, what do you mean? What can now? What do you mean? You can now. I don't understand, Author Chan. Please. I don't understand. You can now. You're interrupted by a yell. Question mark, question mark, question mark, number four. It's the heroes, they've broken in. Suddenly, everything is a blur. <laughs> End of chapter four? I don't even know what chapter I'm on. This is just, this is a blur to me now. Chapter four. Digbag McGee, can you hear me? You recognize the voice of Kirishima. You haven't heard that voice in weeks. I thought it was three days. What? Wait, what? What is the timeline here? Kirishima, I'm in here. He runs in. Oh, thank God you're okay. I was worried they'd kill you. No, not yet. He pulled out his phone and rings someone. I found her. Can you come? A hero enters. It's going to be fine, kid. You nod. For a minute, it feels like everything's gonna be okay. But then Deku enters. Well, hello, heroes. You must be right, right. And of course, Endeavor. Don't bully me for pairing them up. If you want Endeavor, you can die. Deku whips out a knife and tries to attack Endeavor, then uses his other arm to punch Kirishima and leaves him on the ground. From horror, you black out. But just then, Bakugo enters the room. He walks straight to your body and picks you up bridal style. I'm going to stop you right there, Kachan. Also, can we can, can, can we talk about this? It's this Kirishima. You're not going to be able to just punch Kirishima, alright? This bitch is rock. Like, this bitch is rock. He gonna fuck- He'll break your hand if you punch him. Like, hello, Author-chan? Author-chan. Author-chan! I don't- I don't- My brain cells are just slowly dying from reading this. 
I don't normally keep the um, the the cover for the chapters in my stories, but I really like this one. I thought you guys would appreciate it too. It's a get it, Dab E. <laughs> I'm gonna leave now. I forgot I wasn't wearing pants. I went that joke. Chapter five. What the hell did you just call me? <laughs> of course, Katshan, you'd forget me. You're the one who branded me with this name. But I still can't believe you forgot the one that always admired you. Always thought you were the greatest, even compared to All Might. <laughs> but you still forgot Quirkless Deku. Deku? So you do remember me. Now, Katshan, how is your mother? Is she coping with the terrible news? What news? The news that her precious son, her pride and joy, the top earning student in first year at UA. How is she going to cope with the fact that Katsuki Bakugo was killed by a villain? He pushes Bakugo to the floor and holds his blade above Bakugo's neck. What about Inko Izuku? Shut fuck up, hero. And then and there, he slices Bakugo's neck. Two things with that. I'll address the second one in a moment, but um, who the fuck calls their friend's mom by their first name. Why, Achan? Why? But, um, what's supposed to be in that little, little hashtag? So, like, it's supposed to be sh the hell, shut hell up, shut fuck up. So, like, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Just shut fuck up. I'm gonna start using that in my daily life now, too. Instead of be like, hey, shut the fuck up, I'm gonna be like, shut fuck up. <laughs> God, this, this fanfiction's slowly broken me into, like, tiny little pieces, and I don't, I don't know how I'm how I'm handling this right now. I I honestly don't know how I'm handling this. Probably not well. Uh, okay, next chapter. Chapter six. You have a little more freedom now. You can leave Deku's room and explore the rest of the villain base under Deku's strict supervision. He lets you talk to the other villains as long as there's no physical contact and no secrets. But when Deku leaves, you have to be confined by the walls of his room. You're worried you formed a little something for him, but no one needs to know that. It's not like that's the entire point of this fucking fanfiction, I don't fucking know anymore. You are sitting around the bar, the other villains are discussing a piece of paper they stole from UA. Shigaraki. Racerhead, 13, and... Huh, this is good. What, cute boys? Dabi. Lay it crazy. Leans over to see. He starts chaotically giggling, a wide grin spread across his face. <laughs> All Might! All Might was the one thing that always maintained Deku's sanctity. The one person he always looked up to. The person Deku, no, Izuku, Alez wanted to be. A hero. A small drop of water formed in your left eye. You run out of the bar and lock the door of Deku's room. You are broken. Shigaraki, how about we kill him? You and I. Only you and I. What? <laughs> Wait, what? I have a few questions that's going on right now. Um, one, piece of paper they stole from you, wait, what? But that's, oh, okay, you know, we're just gonna move on. But this, is, this isn't even the weirdest chapter, I'm just slowly losing my fucking mind. It, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. This is how I feel about this fanfiction, just, 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 just this. Just this. That's how I feel. That's how I feel right now. Chapter 7. You slumped into a corner of Deku's room. A small pool of tears grew around you. About 10 minutes later, Deku walked into the room. He sees your pained expression. He pulls you up to your feet and stands behind you, putting his arms over you. He kisses your neck. That, that sounds like a lot of effort, but okay, fam. You okay, babe? You push him away. Get away from me. Why have you gone cold on me? Tears form in your eyes. What happened to you? I don't know you. What do you mean? I know a young six-year-old boy whose name is Izuku Madoriya, who admires heroes and wants to be one. Even though Bakugo, no, Kachan, says that there's no way that can happen, he could ever be one. He doesn't care because he knows. Even though he's quirkless, he can be a hero. That was a pain in the ass to fucking read. Why you put so many goddamn ellipses, Atachan? Why? Stop being a weeaboo. Deku's eyes fill with fear. He breathes ever so slowly. He stares at his hands. What happened to me? 
I have a few questions. Um, when when was my character ever affectionate towards Deku whatsoever? Like you just kidnapped her. She's just been with you for a while. I don't I don't think she's ever been affectionate. I think the entire time she's been being like, hey, fuck you. I wanna go home. Woo! Uh, I don't know though because I'm not the author Chan and uh, this ain't my 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 character. Okay, this is this isn't my OC. Chapter eight. You stand by the side of the warp gate as everyone walks through. Deku whispers to you, I'm really sorry, but I love you more than anything. He kisses you on the cheek, then walks to the warp gate. Easy kiss. The villains enter the USJ. Deku stands with the Nomu, patting on its head. The students are thoroughly confused. I am too. Don't worry about it, other students. And that's the dude that killed Bakugo. The room is silenced. Who is this Bakugo you speak of? I was the one who gave Kakushan a mashup of how he ruined my life. Ruined his... He made my life hell. I was lucky enough to be saved. I would have killed myself. I would be dead. So if you think for a second that I went to this, you're so wrong. Um, hi, I have a question, Author Chan. Um, weren't they like six and like... Bakugo was just kind of being like, Hey, you're quirkless. And Deku was like, Hey, yeah, apparently I am. I'm gonna go with this villain now. Bye. It's like... What? 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 I, I don't... Sir, you... You... I, I don't doubt your feelings, but... I, sir, I think... I think you're you're taking this a little too far right now. Like... Like, what? You, you don't really need to be saved at that time, but, you know, we're just gonna... Just gonna move on, just gonna move on. Just gonna, just gonna keep going. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine! He sits back down and watches, red-faced. It was only when All Might shows up that he really became interested. As the hero fights with Shigaraki, he starts his endless giggling. Yeah. As the hero fights with Shigaraki, he starts his endless giggling. Well, All Might, I have someone who really wants to meet you. So say hello to your biggest fan. Deku walks forward and All Might somewhat recognizes him from a newspaper many years ago. This kid! What do you want with the- Insert gender here- Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? I couldn't make this gay? Wait, no, hold up. Wait, insert gender here. Is she alive? What? Wait, uh, what? What gender am I? Am I a dude or a chick or neither or both? I don't fuck. We're, we're going both. We're going both. Fuck it. We're going both. Okay, I am I am now. I am now. We're well, not both. Neither. Sorry, neither. Neither, neither. I am nothing. I am. I am. I, I have no gender. Fuck you and your gender roles. Uh, that doesn't exist anymore in, in, in this. Fuck my, this headcanon. <laughs> What do you do with insert gender here? Are they alive or what? Oh, Dickbag McGee's fine. Actually, Kurogiri, can you do me a favor? You are forced to walk through the warp gate, and the room is silenced. And unfortunately, unfortunately, that's the end of this 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 this, this fan fiction. I wish there was more, but there's not. And it makes me very depressed on the inside. Don't get me wrong. I wish there was more of this. I want more. Just because of how much this makes me this makes me very happy, but also very depressed on the inside because of uh, what's happening half the time. I don't know what's happening half the time. I'm just rolling with it. I'm just having a good time. I'm, I'm just vibing while my brain cells are slowly dying. I don't know if they're dying from like starvation. If they're dying from like just killing themselves. They're just dying. It's not a good time for anyone involved. Um, and then just, 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 just. Just this fan fiction, this, it's a beautiful gift to the world, and uh, makes me remember why I started this series in the first place. But yeah, so that was Villain Deku X Reader. Uh, I hope this was a joke fan fiction, because of how confusing and uh, how questionable this was at times. If it was not, um, Author Chan, I'm so sorry. Uh, please take an English class, uh, or act or read a book. Like, please, you fucking weeaboo. <laughs> Uh, now if you excuse me, I'm gonna go find some more Villain Deku fanfictions because, uh, I'm also a weeaboo. Woo! So, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to my other videos. Recommend me stories, whether it's a fanfiction or fandom. I'm always up for suggestions. Uh, feel free to read this for yourself. Um, maybe the author will update it. Who fucking knows? I don't. Uh, so yeah, don't forget to miss. I'll see y'all next time. Goodbye, my lovelies.